Uh, when I came to America, I was looking into various schools. My sister attended Baruch College and she recommended the CUNY system because it really helped her. She was able to get a very good job afterwards. So I applied to about three CUNY colleges and I was admitted to ANTA, BMCC and City Tech. And I decided to come to BMCC so I could get my associate's degree first before pursuing a bachelor's degree. I had wonderful professors at BMCC who encouraged students to think outside of the box and to ask questions and do independent research. And most of the computer programming classes, you're given a lot of liberty in what programs you create and how you create it. And I find that very useful cause, because some professors tend to like things done their own way and it, may, it restricts the student's ability to program themselves. The most important courses I've taken at BMCC are discrete math courses because it takes a lot of logical reasoning and a lot of quantitative thinking to be able to understand the problems and solve the problems. And I took both classes with the same professor, Professor Scheinman, and he spent most of his career doing that, so he really understands it and he knows the process and he has taught it in several colleges. So he brings a lot of experience to the table. Besides my academic activities in BMCC, I'm also a member of the Out in Two Scholarship Club, a member of the African Students Club, a member of Phi Theta Kappa, and the Vice President of the Cybersecurity Club. In the Cybersecurity Club, we try to inform students on how to protect themselves on the internet and with computer viruses and malicious software. So we spend time educating students as well as teaching computer science majors what we have learned over the time we've been at BMCC, like recovering files from hard drives and how to program better. After I graduate, I intend to transfer directly to a four-year college, but I would be applying for a summer internship before I start the four-year college so I could get some experience, some job experience. I grew up in a number of African countries and I realized sometimes you just can't get things to work right because the software might not understand the local languages, they might have too much specification that you don't require, they might not have what you require and it's very difficult to get, uh, it's very difficult to get like software assistance, like to get customer service because you would have to fly people in from another country to come fix it. But if you had something designed locally, you would be able to monitor it and fix it easily. Eventually, I would like to go back to Africa and try to open my own company to make software that is specifically designed for those economies, for the businesses, for them to have the software they require and not rely on what is used generally everywhere else.